Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed are thou, Lord. Do not call any one on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And do not be called teacher, for one is your teacher, the Christ. But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Matthew 23, 9. Some years ago, I walked into a grocery store, and someone came up to me and said, Hi, Brother Trifon. How are you? Looking up, I saw a young Protestant minister. His having addressed me as brother reminded me of a sheriff's deputy that I knew years ago who addressed me as priest Trifon because he felt he could not be, un be biblical if he addressed me as father. It crossed my mind that the young minister would most likely have no difficulty allowing his own child to address him as dad or father, nor would he have any difficulty referring to anyone in his church who taught Sunday school as teacher. Yet Christ did not say it was okay to call your own blood father, father, nor did he say you could call an instructor, teacher. He said, do not call anyone on earth your father, and do not call anyone on earth your teacher. The Protestant claim that calling priests father is a violation of scripture ignores the fact that Jesus referred to our father Abraham, John 8, 56, and told the story of the, story of the young prodigal son using the term father, Luke 15. Furthermore, St. Paul said, I have become your father in Christ. And the beginning of the church from the Old Testament times called those appointed by God as prophet, teacher, rabbi, and father, like the titles reverend, pastor, and brother. These personal titles have served to convey a certain warmth and honor to those who serve the Lord and who serve us. And as love leads us to call our dad father, so too do we show honor and love for those who serve us by calling them father that the Lord Jesus Christ warned against calling them father or teacher was a reminder that the leaders of the people should remain pure and humble. His injunction that bishops, priests, deacons, and teachers should maintain personal character and godly humility is obvious. Our Lord could have just as easily instructed his disciples to call no one reverend or pastor or minister. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten.
Vater, in Son, and Immortal Word.